This episode of Cast It Crazy is brought to you by the following sponsor. The Complete Guide to Cosmic Wars. Get your copy today. You are watching Cast the Crazy TV. I'm so crazy. You so crazy. Crazy. Who's the I'm so crazy. You so crazy. Crazy. Who's the crazy? So we're here at the Mocha Art Festival 2008, and we're here with Jad and Alex to talk about their work today. So what do you have um, that you have here today? Uh, we have three books. We have Poison the Cure number one, and this is the first of a four-part series, and each part is going to be about 100 pages long. And it's a story about uh, interstellar explorers who find a planet that uh, has the remnants of civilization but uh, they find no sentient life on the planet itself. And the story is them sort of putting together clues of uh, what happened on this empty planet. And we also have uh, two books that we published previous to this. Uh, one of them is Something So Familiar, and the other one is The Last Island. They're both written and drawn by Alex Cahill, and they're both standalone stories that are silent comics. And you wrote that one, and he drew that one, right? Yes, correct. And how did you guys start to do this together? Uh, Jan and I have been friends for a long time and we both always really enjoyed comics. And there was a summer when we decided that he and I would come up with two separate stories uh, and then we would get together and uh, Jad would, would do the job of fusing the two different stories together into one story somehow, which he did very well. And they were not exactly the easiest stories to fuse together, they were pretty different ideas. So he took my idea and his own idea and and twirled it into one story, which and that's how Poison the Cure got started. Okay, how is the whole process for you? Like for you as a as a writer to come up with the idea and then end up with the final product, and for you as an artist, like what's the process for you guys? Well, um, I will first write the script from start to finish, um, and. Uh, I'll give the script to Alex, and he will, of course, adapt that script into an actual comic book. But throughout that whole process, uh, we're lucky enough that we live in the same city, very close to each other, and we're very good friends. So we're constantly still collaborating on the project as he's turning my script into, uh, you know, actually you know, panels in a comic book. Uh -huh. What about for you? It, it actually, it, it's exactly as he said, but it, it's it's our, our collaboration is unique in that Jad doesn't give me... Uh, blow by blow, very, very, very specific instructions. He, he Jad has the Jad is the author of the entire story, but he uh, he gives me the the actual events of the story and the dialogue, and um, encourages our collaboration. Uh, in that I get to decide how to lay things out. I get to decide um, the pacing of each event and how, essentially how long each scene and in effect each issue should run based on how I feel uh, his story should be interpreted. As an artist and as a writer, why comic books? Um, I grew up reading comic books. I love comic books. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I'd like to write other things, try to, but um, certain story ideas I have just feel as though they would be wrong as anything other than a comic book. What about for you? I feel similarly. I feel like uh, I don't. I've never considered comics um, a smaller, cheaper, or more accessible form of storytelling to movies. It has never been my preference, nor will it ever be my preference to make a movie. I've always believed in comics. I think the comics do things that movies can't do. Obviously, the reverse is true. Also, my preference is for comics because it leaves the person experiencing the story in full control of how how quickly and by what means they want to absorb everything and because that's my favorite thing to do as a reader I, that's where all the pleasure comes from for me as a storyteller as well I mean I I, uh, I really think that comics is its own thing and is not uh, the smaller version of something else so how can we get a hold of your work um, and your books all, other than maybe conventions or art festivals like this? Well, uh, we have books uh, of ours at several comic book stores around the country, but um, if you don't happen to live in a city in which that is possible, 
Uh, you can order any of our books as well as uh, anything else that we might be selling at our website. And if you'll allow me to give a direct plug. Sure. Uh, the website is right over here, www.newradiocomics.com. And anyone can go there, and we have a very easy system in which you can order things with a credit card or whatever you like to pay with. We ship overseas. We ship overseas and everything. So, and we don't charge extra for for overseas uh, books. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank yeah, it's you. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Crazy Comics, and of course they spell that with a Z-E-E, -E, in case you didn't know. So don't use your spell check when you're checking out Crazy Comics. Sam Rivera with Crazy Comics here, thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. You are the founder and creator, you write it, you draw it. Uh, kind of tell me about Crazy Comics, it's based toward kids, right? Yes, um, Crazy Comics is my uh, company, I've been uh, for about five years, been publishing, self-publishing my books, and uh, now I'm launching Crazy Kids, um, which is my brand of children's books for all ages, and um, a variety of uh, spooky stories to some stories with some hidden messages for the kids and ask some trivia questions and stuff like that just to engage kids and get them um, encouraged into reading. Yeah. yeah, and I guess the idea is to make sure the kids are reading something, reading anything, because kids these days, they, they don't read very much. And tell me about this little green guy. This is kind of your signature character, right? Yes, that's Nailing My Toilet. I uh, debuted it at License Expo and uh, been written up been, um, on a lot of magazines and uh, it was one of the property highlights of the expo and it's my uh, premier brand right now and he actually cameos in a lot of different my book, uh, books and uh, so I have uh, Do These Adventures as him as a child in his home world growing up, and uh, then there's, there's an alien in my toilet, uh, which is. Um it's where also an alien meet. <laughs> and uh, at Comic Con, you're over at booth S09. Yes. The, the Adventures of Cosmic Gore, for your new one. Tell me quickly about that one. That space is spawned from Cosmic Wars, and it's um, uh, Cosmic Gore goes on an adventure. He's a daring. Um, he's the future of the planet Crystalia, so he convinces the princess to go off on these adventures with him, and uh, he takes duty along. And uh, so there's a lot of uh, action and uh, fun in it. That's very cool. Yeah. Samuel, thank you very much again. Let's show you where people can find you at Comic-Con S09, right? Yes, in the small press section is at Comic-Con. Yes. Beautiful. Samuel Vera, creator of Crazy Comics. Check this out. For five to about two, three, three to 12-year-olds, you would say? Yes. Excellent. Thank you very much. You. Uh, more comics. Uh, Peggy, I believe you're over there. You have a... Uh. Like you know what's called Cassie Grace.